All right, here is the garden. End of June, beginning of July. Let's start off by looking at, here's our assortment of jalapeno, bell, long sweet, all the different peppers. Here we have a mishmash of random things that we just tried growing late season. Scallions, tomatoes, peppers. We have our tomatillo plants with tomatillos on them. Uh, another, another row of snow peas with some strange beans. All right, we have two little pine trees I'm growing. My beloved avocado tree. Number one, look at the size of this leaf. This leaf is bigger than my whole arm, or it's just huge. And we have mint, another avocado tree, more mint, and an olive tree. The three, uh, two avocados and olive tree have to come inside in the winter. They will die in this climate. Here we have our zucchini squash. You can see we have a lot of squash on the vine. We have green on this side. And two rows of yellow. Here we have three different types of beans. We have um, Roma 2 Italian bush beans right here. And we have early uh, bush beans, which compared to like the um, regular string beans, they're flat and they get real they get real wide. I'm gonna eat this one actually, it looks good. On this side we have the regular string beans. We picked all the big ones yesterday, but some more coming in. Regular string beans. And over here we have some yellow Italian beans, or they have a certain name. It's called uh, Capitano. They're tasty as well. Up here, we have a pickle bush, a row of pickle bush cucumbers. Very prolific and make delicious sweet cucumbers that you can eat plain or use for pickling. Behind that, we have English cucumbers, so the lo usually long and thin, that mine tend to be uh, medium sized and chubby. They grow up tall, so we have a tall lattice, whereas these ones, the bushes, they stay low to the ground. Then we have our massive uh, tomato gardens, and we have a uh, Sixteen plants, four of each. Like we have four aromas slash plums, four of these big globe-sized ones, four beefsteak tomatoes, and they're a little small, but they're coming in. And back here we have um, another pumpkin pumpkin plant that's going all around the whole garden. Seems all around there. We have our second peach tree. And the first one is up, up there and is really big that's outside of the garden. This one's a little smaller, I'll play them a little later. They were both grown from a seed that we ate at the store. This is my valerian, or valerian root. In the corner is my kiwi tree, or bush vine, it looks like it's more like a vine. Here's my strawberry patch, and those over there are um, okra, that's the name. These are okra plants, I gotta cut holes so they can grow taller. Then, as we head back over here, we're going to the greenhouse, which is mostly done for the season because it's too hot in there, but you can see the shelves are all empty. Fans are on low, but they pulled out the, the snow peas that are grown here and nice and dry out to get the seeds out to grow them. We have some, these are test out, like lettuces still growing, doing well. Oak leaf lettuce, tomatillos, tomatoes, you know. A couple of different, another tomatillo plant doing well right here. Another pepper in the background. Some chives. It's really, really hot in here. It's probably too hot for growing. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the thermometer says that it's 100 degrees in here. It's probably only like 90 outside, but it's really hot in here. So, even with the fan on low, it doesn't, I mean, it's too, it's too hot to grow most things. 
But that's the tour of the garden. First week of July. On my second year growing. <laughs>